Hey guys, this is Blue Eddy Support, a knowledge base to help you have a better experience with Blue Eddy. And today, we're introducing you to EP500 Pro's intuitive LCD display. You can check EP500 Pro's product information and change its settings via the resistive touchscreen. Long press the power button to turn it on or off. There are many settings here. Let's find out how to set them. Press here and select on. Then you're able to charge your power hungry devices via the AC outlets. Tap AC load and you can see the output power, voltage, current, and frequency. Select off and the AC power is automatically turned off. To enable DC output, select on here. Likewise, press DC load and you'll see the total output power and voltage as well as the information of every output. Tap PV to check the PV input power and current. Press grid and you can view the AC input voltage, current, and power. Tap setting to select the working, charging, or UPS mode, change system language, date, and more. The DC input cable is divided into two circuits, DC1 and DC2, to support two different sets of solar panels. Because EP500 Pro has two MPPTs inside, you can use one, the other, or both simultaneously. If you charge EP500 Pro via solar panels, set PV as DC1 or DC2 input source and disable PV parallel. Charging by other DC sources, like car or lead acid battery, please choose others. You can turn on the eco mode to save power. You can set up a split phase system according to your needs. Here you can opt for standard, PV priority, time control, and customized UPS. In standard UPS mode, EP500 Pro is charged to 100% SOC and takes over your home circuit when the power grid goes out. PV priority mode allows EP500 Pro to collect as much sunlight as possible and provide free and clean power. With time control mode, your electricity bills will be greatly reduced. Simply charge EP500 Pro during non-peak hours and power your house during peak hours. You can also create a customized UPS mode by setting the grid charge status, time control status, and time and SOC settings. EP500 Pro can charge faster with a higher current, but please contact us first. You can mute the touch sound here. Tap date setting or time setting to set date or time. Tap data and you can get more details on inverter, charger, BMS maintenance, warning slash fault records, and other product information. You can check or clear the history alarm records under the alarm history. That's all for today. Please follow us for more videos and let me know if you have any questions or ideas. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.